I'm Randy McCall, brand manager for Lamborghini Newport Beach. Wanted to uh, this time take you for a walk around the Lamborghini Urus. Now everybody, this isn't going to be a, a review telling you how exciting, how unbelievably fast and hilarious they are because we already know that. There's some new colors coming out and everybody's going to be revisiting uh, the configurator and kind of going through their specs and I thought maybe showing you a few things that we like to put on ours uh, would, would maybe help. We're going to go around the outside and we'll go around the inside and just kind of point out some of the things that we like to do on ours. So this is a 2020 Urus and Grigio Nimbus Silver just landed from the factory. So starting in the front, I'd like to point out they have a, a style package. Both you can get it in body color or shiny black. And that's going to give you, like when you see these pieces here in silver, and then this, uh, this, this particular pieces here that they'll paint to match the wheel well fender, the fender lips there, the mirrors down the body uh, side there on the bottom and around the back. Anyway, all, all down the side there is going to be either uh, body color or shiny black. So that's going to, that's going to give you some nice accents there. And just depends on whether you want to go more elegant or sporty, kind of uh, how you do that. Now you'll also see, you can't combine it with it, but uh, if you see the, uh, there's two exterior carbon packages. There's an upper and a lower. And if you see those, um, then you can't also add the, uh, the body style package to it as well. But those will give you uh, just carbon bits across the front. Again, with the lips here, the mirrors, the spoiler in the back, and then the lower one will actually do down the sides and then the front and rear bumpers and things. So uh, those are the carbon packages if you end up optioning those. And then while we're in the front here, I'll show you, this is just one of the sensors. Some people wonder what that is. That's part of the driver assist package. I'll tell you more about that when we get inside. But um, basically, we always order ours with the full ADAS package. And uh, that gives you all the driver assist features. There's really not a point at this level to skip out on a lot of that. I mean, you know, might as well. So that's what that is. It gives you like uh, your uh, active cruise control and things, your force blind spot monitoring, and, and that kind of thing as far as what we have on the outside here. As well, uh, 360 cameras. So they got cameras everywhere. The, the cameras on these things are awesome. So coming over here to the wheels. So these are the 23s. Now the base is a 21 inch wheel. They've got a couple different styles there. And then a 22, a few different finishes on the 22s and then the 23, which you can get in, in all shiny black or this diamond cut finish here. So again, just whether you wanna go with more of a sporty, more of an elegant look. 23 is the largest size. Um, some people do prefer the 22s. You just get a little more sidewall. So you've got just a little more comfort there. So either way, uh, also I wanna point out that if you're in a snowy area, uh, the 22 inch wheel is the only size that Lamborghini offers a snow tire for. So um, keep that in mind if that's something that's gonna be, and what some people do is have 23s by a second set of 22s for those snow tires. But, uh, and then brakes. So just so you know, cause a lot of people aren't real uh, familiar with this car in that they all have the same powertrain. So no matter what trim as far as looks and that kind of thing, they're all gonna have the same power, same engine, same brakes, uh, same all wheel drive, rear wheel steering, same transmission. So some other brands will have different levels. This is all, this is just all fast. So, uh, so all the brakes this is actually the, the largest uh, brake on a production vehicle. So they're huge. But uh, so silver is, is your no cost option. So if you don't, you don't pick another color, you get silver. So anything else from black, red, green, uh, all those colors on the calipers would be a cost option there. Coming down the, the side here, this particular one does not have, which is fine, but uh, they, you can get the, the roof rails. Um, it does have the panel roof. That's important for our customers. We, we try to get them with the panel roof up here. And that's the thing. So you either have no sunroof or the panel roof. There's not a, there's not a middle option there. And then if you order the roof rails, uh, one, they need to be ordered from the factory. They're not retrofittable. And then two, it's ordered in conjunction with the panel roof. So you can't have roof rails without the panel roof. It's just how, how, it, how it's ordered. But so they'd just be slim little black and actually you can get them in chrome now too, but uh, the roof rails there. And then coming around the back. So on the exhaust tips here, there's about four different finishes that you can get. Everything uh, from this kind of this brush look here. Uh, satin actually is this. They have a satin, a brush, they have a chrome, and then they have a matte black. So 
on the exhaust tips there. You can get uh, a hitch for the back. So if you want to use a hitch, I highly recommend ordering the car with the hitch from the factory. So they actually have a cutout in the bumper uh, on those cars for the hitch and everything there, and the software in the car to know what to do when it's pulling a trailer. So, uh, and then back here, so this is where on that carbon package, you'd have a carbon piece here, you'd have carbon here behind the Lamborghini emblem, and then the lower package would give you all this, and carbon's actually a different bumper altogether. But um, anyway, there we go. That's the exterior, and then now we'll go through the inside. Okay, we came in out of the sun. Better lighting back here. I wanna show you the interior. So there's a lot to go over here, so uh, bear with me. So here for starters, this glass here, we like to order this. This is the acoustic and heat insulated glass. You'll know when you have it, it's, it's dual pane here. So uh, you can get that either by itself, which is the case of this vehicle, or you can get it, it'll say uh, privacy with that same package. And when you get privacy, then it'll be tinted back here. So as part of that same package. So if you got kids in the back or you throw bags back there, whatever, you like that privacy, uh, that's basically tint from the factory, but it's part of that glass. So we do that as well. Now, moving down on the door, you'll see uh, this one's got some carbon trim. I'll be showing you more about that here in a second. The Bang & Lufson sound, this is a fantastic stereo system. I actually had one customer say that this sounded as close to his studio monitors as he could find, so he bought the vehicle for that reason. Anyway, so you've got uh, drivers here, and you've actually got tweeters that rise up out of the dash and then lower back down when you turn the vehicle on and off, so that's pretty great. But uh, the, the imaging, the sound stage, I could go on about that, but it's, it's superb. So uh, you'll notice when you're configuring your car, you can select floor mats, and then you can get them with different color trim, leather, stitching, that kind of thing. If you don't select that, you do still get floor mats. So I wanted to be clear about that. So that's what we do a lot of times, is just put black floor mats in here, because as you can see with this vehicle, if we had white trim and things, that's gonna get dirty pretty quick. So just a nice black floor mat, they're removable, you clean them easy, but you will still get the floor mats. So definitely wanted to point that out. I wanna go over the seats. So there's a, there's a lot to talk about, actually, on the seats. So this seat basically has everything you can get <laughs> in the seats. So you, you can order just, uh, if you don't order anything, you still get an electric seat here. But in this case, they have a full electric comfort seat. Now, if you don't get anything, again, you'll still have heated seats, but this also gives you the perforations as part of this package with the ventilated seats. So you get heated and ventilated front seats. You also have massage. You'll have your main controls here on the side, and then you'll have your lumbar controls here around the outside here in this circle. And then that inner button is actually gonna start and stop the massage that you've set up in the screen. So over in the touch screen, that's where you're gonna set up your massage, different types of massage, the intensity, wives love it. Uh, and then on top of that, you're also going to, you've got a bottom bolster here that'll support your legs, especially on longer road trips. That's real nice. So you can motor that in and out. And then these side bolsters, uh, both on the bottom and side here, those can be electrically adjusted. They're not active like a, like a Mercedes that'll kind of, you know, tighten you up in a corner, but you can get them nice and just really fit your body shape there. And that's all done through the screen. So when you get that full electric seat, you get all that. So we try to put that on all of them. Now, another little point is that if you if you see one with Alcantara or if you want to order an Alcantara interior you can't combine the Alcantara interior with the full the comfort seat I just mentioned so that's something to keep in mind too so then on top of that you have this Cucitura with uh, Italian for quilted stitching but this pattern here that Lamborghini's now kind of been known for they've been doing the quilted pat pattern here for going back many years back to the Gallardo and things but but uh, so you can get that when you order that option, that's going to be the front and back seats all together. So, so you have that. Uh, we also have the embossed, uh, the embroidered headrest there with the logo. That's a separate option. And then on top of that, when you're specking it out, you, you select, you'll see in the configurator, you'll see whether you can do the stitching um, inverted or not. In this case, we've done an all black interior, but you can do a two tone, you can do tone on tone stitching, that kind of thing. Just kind of keep that in mind because you can end up with the, the logo stitched, but it'd be black on black and it doesn't really stand out very much. So that's just something, that's just how this one's been done. But uh, 
wanted to kind of point out how how you can option this. Then moving on to the steering wheel here. So if you don't option any other steering wheel, you're going to get the nice smooth. It's nice and thick uh, with the with the aluminum centering ring here. Uh, you can get it with perforated leather inserts, uh, and you can also get it in Alcantara. So you can get a couple different ways there, and then you can actually order the stitching to match the interior as well. Now they're all going to be the multifunction steering wheel with the paddle shift, they're all gonna have that. They're all gonna be electric tilt and, and telescoping steering columns. They're all gonna have that. You can get the steering wheel uh, heated as well separately. So, uh, but they're all gonna be multifunction like this. They have all your controls for your full ADAS pa uh, package that I mentioned. That covers a lot. That, that has everything from active cruise control with your distance, to keeping it into the lane, lane departure warning, and you can, you can customize this thing to your heart's desire. I mean, here's your lighting here in the mirror that tells you, of course, if you, you know, blind spot and that kind of thing. You can actually adjust the intensity of that, brightness, that kind of thing. Say you're parked on the side of a street and, you know, and you've got traffic next to you or a bike coming. If it actually senses that there's a car about to go by you when you're about to open a door, it'll actually uh, light up the, the, the door handle here red and kind of warn you, hey, you're about to open the door into somebody. So along with your cross traffic, it's actually watching for impacts front and rear. It'll break if it has to, um, unless you have it like on Corsa mode, because you don't want that doing that on the track. But, um, but it's watching for all that. It also includes the heads up display, which is fantastic. When you have the nav going, it actually has your next directions and things in your heads up display in the windshield. And then your, what they call the top view camera, uh, I'll show you that when we get inside, but the camera on this thing is great. I mean, besides front and rear, we've got a bird's eye view, you've got a 3D, you can actually spin it around. But, uh, so that's all great. Now, uh, when it comes to dash trim, if you don't order anything else, you get the piano black, the shiny black uh, trim across. Now, you're still going to have the aluminum here but uh, where this carbon is here across the door will be shiny piano black, so that's nice. But you can also get, uh, they have an open pour wood. It's kind of a rough, kind of earthy kind of finish. Uh, you can get that, it's kind of an ash color. Um, so they don't have different color options on the wood, but you can do that if you want more of a, uh, a luxurious kind of earthy look to it. So you can get the wood. You can also get that same wood with an aluminum inlay in it that's actually got the same pattern as this, the quilted stitching here so if you want to combine that you can do that and then they have carbon fiber so they have a small and a large carbon interior package so this car happens to have the large one most of the time we usually just order the small one you get most of the effect about half the cost but uh, this one has the large which is really cool too so along with what will normally be carbon here across the dash and things you also get the air conditioning vents the gauge surrounds here and that that goes all the way down all the your controls and then actually the air conditioning vents on the back seats also all get carbon so you can get all that uh, in carbon you can actually order the door sills in carbon as well separately and we'll move on across into the interior here the uh, the connectivity is superb we don't necessarily need to go through all the connectivity of this car but uh, being that they do get a lot of their those parts from Audi it just works um, it's fantastic the nav is great you can search you can handwrite you can speak to it you can Google locations um, any way you want to search for something it's it's there so the navigation is great the sound uh, grace notes it'll pull up your album art there the Bluetooth for from your phone to the music is great you can plug it into USB I'll show you here inside the armrest here you've actually got a wireless charging pad for your phone and then that's where you're going to plug in your like your apple cable for apple carplay comes with that so you can have all your nav everything apple carplay as well as long or as well as android will all pop up here um, you, there's a sim card slot uh, if you want to get that from your provider and it'll actually provide a wi-fi hotspot here in the car as well so that's available and then uh, i did want to point out too so all the connectivity is 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 standard so you don't have to order anything else to get all that so then on your drive modes here as you go down so we've got our start stop button here you've got your reverse as your big knob there you're going to pull that back um, and then your drive modes, your anime there. So you're gonna have several modes that are standard, but you'll see in the configurator where you can order off-road modes, and that's gonna give you two extra off-road modes there. It's gonna be the Sabia and the Terra. So Sabia's sand, Terra is the rock. It's gonna raise it to its highest setting. 
and uh, and so when you see that whole list of options or off-road modes there then you know you've got all the modes that this thing can do and for something like six hundred dollars we just put it on them because you're buying an SUV you might as well be able to have all the modes right so just wanted to point that out okay so we're inside here kind of easier to show you uh, quite a bit of what's going on in here so first off I want to start off with the ceiling here this is the panel roof so we have the electric shade so that's gonna slide back and then you've got glass you can actually pop this section of glass here and then you can run this section back so I wanted to see kind of what what your options were there so you've got open sunroof here so you've got glass back here but that's as far as it opens and you've got kind of a wind block there too I want to point out a couple things here so one there's a roadside assist. There's a button for that. It's got a wrench on it. You can click that and actually call roadside if, heaven forbid, you should need it. But then uh, also this SOS here. So, and it kind of opens up in arms. And if you push that, it's actually going to call uh, the emergency services. And actually, kind of an interesting thing, if you should get into an accident and airbags go off and things, and then they call for like a response from you, if there's no response within a set time, it'll automatically call the emergency services and send uh, send them the vehicle coordinates and everything for help. So that's actually really cool. Anyway, so moving on to the steering wheel here. So they're all gonna be this multi-function steering wheel. You can get it with and without heat. Uh, and then this is the smooth steering wheel here with the aluminum center ring. This is just, this is stock. This is if you didn't order anything, you would get this steering wheel here. Now we have optioned the stitching to match. So that's really nice, I like to do that a lot. But they all have the paddle shift here. So there's no other more simple steering wheel. You always get this. Um, and then on top of that though, so you can get perforated leather inserts here on the steering wheel. You can get more of an Alcantara steering wheel, all with stitching. So you've got a couple different ways you can go with that as well. They're all gonna have this electric uh, steering column here that'll tilt and telescope electrically and uh, connected to the, the memory, of course, with the, the seat and everything. And then all your controls for all the driver assist, that full ADAS package I mentioned, which you, it's, it's just highly recommended that you just order the whole package because then you get all the features that car is capable of. Uh, the heads up display, if you run in navigation, you've got your directions right there in your line of sight. It's really great. Um, you've got active cruise control with your distance and things. You, it'll keep it within the lane. It'll warn you if you go outside the lane. Um, along with uh, you know blind spot monitoring, of course, with some lights and the mirrors here. All of this is adjustable, by the way, in the, in the setup here. You can tell it how aggressive it is. You can tell it on cruise control if you want it to slow down for curves in the road or not based on GPS and things. So that's pretty cool. It's watching for traffic. So if you're parked on the side of the road and you've got traffic right along the side of you and someone's about to, you know, kind of like cross traffic, but for the side, it'll actually warn you um, if you're about to open your door into somebody. And then of course, it's also watching for collision, both front and rear. So um, it'll, it'll actually break if it has to on the front and rear and that kind of thing. And then you've got different drive modes and things so when you first fire up the car you're gonna be in strata here and that's gonna be your regular ride height um, and it's also gonna be the quietest smoothest that kind of thing when you're driving anytime uh, you don't have to be stopped or anything you can switch it in sport is gonna lower it and be more aggressive and things uh, Corsa is gonna be your track mode it's actually changing the display on the uh, dash as well um, and then you can go to Sabia so now on your configurator you'll see off-road modes now now that's different from the off-road there's an off-road bumper package that's actually going to give you a skip plate in the front different shape bumper in the front and things but um, and that's if you're going to be serious about your off-road but otherwise you have off-road modes uh, and that's going to be these two here so you have sabia which is sand you have terra is rock and that's going to raise it to its highest setting so and then neve which it will have either way is uh, wet traction so if you don't option those you're going to have strata sport course and Neve and then if you do option you'll have these two extra off-road modes there so just wanted to point that out of course your start stop here this is your reverse okay so the connectivity on this thing is, is superb and being that it does come from Audi I mean their software it just works so it's not like Lamborghini had to reinvent the wheel here or anything so it's great I mean here we have your home screen you've got all kinds of setup menus and things you've got your navigation the searching is really really great on this thing so you you can handwrite here let me 20 to 101 yeah two, then, one, zero, one. so it can it can recognize your handwriting you can also go to a keyboard and 
and connect letters and it and you know it, it's following along you can google you can talk uh, talk to it it's superb so wanted to point that out navigation is really great on this thing the cameras are another thing so i can pull up i've got a button here for the cameras so not only does it have front and rear and it's got the top view and let me show you this so when i slide this open i have all these different camera views uh or just with the regular cameras here get out of the way here so you can see it you've got wide front narrow front um so you've got all kinds of camera views and i go 3d now i can actually you've got a few different even 3d but I, you can spin it around so that's really cool and it's live i mean um but uh, you can check all around your car so that's super cool the cameras on this thing are great when you're parking you've got backup camera and then when you switch to front if you're maneuvering in a parking lot it'll switch to the front camera so yeah it, it's awesome this uh, i should point out too so you've got your drive modes here so you've got strata sport corsa so when you first fire it up you're always going to be in strata mode here and uh and then corsa Sport, Sabia and Terra are off-road modes are raised to its highest setting. Neve is, is your wet traction. Ego over here, this is basically where you can you can customize one of those modes. So if you like the steering to weight weight to be a certain feel, drivetrain, that kind of thing, sporty, you can you can adjust all this and then you just click the ego mode, and it goes right to your personalized settings. So and I'll show you this armrest here so you can extend them out for, for comfort, baby. I mean, you know, just got a little bit flexibility there and then they raise up together now you do have it if you can see you've got uh, a, a phone wireless charging pad here and then you've got some USB ports this is where you're gonna plug in your Apple cable for your Apple CarPlay and Android and things so it comes with that as well just plug in there um, SD card slot if you want to put music on that thing uh, SIM card slot so you can get a SIM card from your provider plug that in and then you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot in here as well so yeah, and then while we're here, so this, this particular car uh, has the large carbon fiber interior package. So if you don't order anything um, optional, you get the uh, piano black trim, which is nice in, in itself. And that's gonna be, you're always gonna have this aluminum here, but then it'll be up the center here and everything. Uh, the air conditioning vents will be in a, in a, in a black uh, plastic, but it just blends right in with the dash, so it's nice. You can get uh, open pour wood, kind of a rough, almost like an unfinished ash colored wood. Uh, it's really nice. You can get that. Um, you can get that same wood with an aluminum inlay that matches the Cusatura stitching in the seats, so that's an option. They have a small carbon package that'll give you just these strips here and down the center, uh, and then this large one here gives you all these air conditioning vents as well around the gauge cluster here, and then even in the back seats around their air conditioning vent is is carbon as well so uh, a few different options there for interior trim again whether you just want to go sporty or luxurious or or just what you like to look at when you're in your own Lamborghini moving on to the back seat here a few things I want to point out so they're all gonna have a four zone climate control uh, standard so you've got a taptic screen back here so for left and right uh, you can also option rear seat heating separately and then uh, another option is going to be the rear this one doesn't have it but they have the the uh, rear seat entertainment um, and that's going to be screens that are basically mounted here that, that mount right here to the back of the seat so it is available and then i uh, wanted to point out the seat so there's a bit of a discussion uh on the ursus as to which way to go with the rear seats and it does come down to personal preference and how you plan to use the vehicle but let me point this out so if you don't option they have a four seat uh, setup. If you see four-seater, that's going to be two separate captain's chairs that are electric with a fixed armrest in the middle. It's more of an executive type setup, more comfortable. The thing is, you can't flip those seats down, so you lose the ability to haul a lot more stuff if that's what you need to do or how you're going to use it. So just keep that in mind. A little more comfortable, a little less on the utility. Whereas if you don't, so if you don't option those, you get the, the rear bench just like this. This is actually exactly like the Cayenne setup. Um, so where you can, you've just got a handle here on the bottom and they flip down, lock down. So both sides will do that. And then you've got all that storage space there. And when you flip them up, you can actually notch it one notch back like that for comfort. Um, and then actually there's an optional rear seat cover that a few of my clients have ordered if they you know bring your dogs with you it's a, made by Lamborghini with the crest on it and things but it mounts here covers the seats protects them and then uh, gives them a place to jump up um, you can actually get uh, all-weather floor mats from Lamborghini too there's a back set front set and then there's a separate cargo mat in the back uh, that's available um, 
and then uh, yeah as you see here the the Cusatura, uh stitching pattern continues to the back along with the headrest so very cool but I'll, now I'll take you on to the back moving on to the back here we've got electric tailgate which says electric uh, open and close and this is our main storage area back here this will come just straight out so you can take that out get more storage space again you can fold those seats down and have all that space there uh, this particular one, a couple things, uh, more options back here. So we do have, this is the rear cargo management. You'll see that as an option. That's basically you've got this metal fence here and this webbing. So you can flip these this way and that way you can have, you can put your bags there, keep them from flying around when you take corners at, at Mach 2, right? So that's, that's available. This actually also comes with this, uh, it's like a dog net a pet net so you can actually hang it back there and and then give your pets a little more freedom back here so that's what that is uh, it's available and then underneath the floor here if you don't option anything you're just going to get uh, like a lot of sports cars these days it's just basically can't fix a flat tire inflator that kind of thing you can option the you'll see it called the 21 inch space saver spare wheel and tire that's what this is comes with a jack and everything uh, and then it's got an inflator, so that's why it looks kind of funny, but uh, Porsche's been doing that a long time, but you just uh, mount it, inflate it up. So we, uh, we don't always option that, but especially if it's got the 23 inch wheels, we tend to try to put that spare tire with it just because those 23 inch wheels, you got a real narrow sidewall on the tire and you just, you're more apt to, you know, hit a pothole and damage that sidewall on the tire and possibly need that. Um, but uh, so we'll throw that in there on some of those cars but anyway just want to point out a few things here very utility did you know this chassis is actually the same one that they based the Cayenne and the Bentayga on and so uh, that's a good thing uh, things like rear leg room storage space that kind of thing they just work I mean it just you know it's not like there's really anything to complain about on this vehicle all that stuff has already been figured out and it just works so even the engine built and developed by uh, Porsche's race department. So it's again, already proven, reliable V8, twin turbo, four liter. And uh, it just the whole thing, it's just, it's a, it's a really great package. So I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a little more insight into some of the options and how we like to order them. And uh, give us a call, we'll put yours together.